Hello guys, today I'm gonna show you some beautiful Polish mountains. If for some reason you are planning to visit southern Poland and also if you like hiking or maybe mountain running, you will see how nice this playground is. I've parked my car in Pokshivna where a few different hiking trail starts. Just one more minute for quick equipment preparation and here we can start our short adventure. As you can see, I'm not running alone today. Okay, everything is ready, let's go for a run. Just one thing about that frog jumping through the forest in one of the previous scenes. Well, now we are approaching frog's eye. In Polish it's Żaby Oczko. I do not recommend swimming here unless you want to turn into a frog. Then, as you can see, we have to get a bit higher, still running along the blue trail and luckily passing a few really nice viewpoints before we run down to the Golden Brook, which in Polish is called Złoty Potok. Not sure if you see this, there is a tower. I'm gonna show you how to get there. Over 7 kilometers. The Biskupia Kopa is the highest mountain in Popole Voivodeship. Look at this. Isn't it beautiful? Well, sometimes it's really not much. A piece of nature seems to be enough to make me happy. How about you guys? And one useful hint. If you meet someone in Polish mountains, don't forget to say hi. Cześć. 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 As you can see, even dogs in Poland won't leave you with no answer. Eight and a half kilometers from the start. Maybe I don't like this, but look. This was behind me. Really nice, huh? Not so long time ago, there was a forest right here, but also removed, I believe, for some reason. Last 400, maybe 500 meters to the peak. Just. have a pretty clear sky which really really makes me happy <laughs> to see the tower let's get there and here we go the highest peak in Apollo Voivod ship and in Opaski mountains Biskupia Kopa in English Bishop's Mound 890 meters above sea level, which is maybe not so much, but believe me, local runners love this trail around and here you can prepare for competitions in any mountains in Europe, doesn't matter how high and difficult. Many many finishers of Lava Red or Ultra Pirino or even UTMB were improving their shape right here. Once again, some nice view. Almost from the top. If you are hungry, thirsty, or just tired, right under the peak you will find a place to hide. What I really recommend after reaching the peak is to take a short break in this mountain shelter. A piece of cake and Americano can quickly charge your batteries before further journey. And if you want to stay here a bit longer, you may also find a very nice place to sleep inside. But you should really come here and see this on your own. You ask some Polish people about three of the most beautiful things in Poland, or about Poland, probably they will tell you 
pierogi. First place. Polish ladies. But also on a podium as a really must see Poland. I can personally recommend Polish mountains. And also amazing lakes, forests and a Baltic Sea. Polish nature is really worth seeing. You still don't believe me, huh? Yeah, look at this. It's a Srebrna Kopa. In English, Silver Mound. I think this is the most windy hill in the Lupovsky mountains. So I should get prepared. Because we are now going right there. Yeah, look at this. Finally, I have some clear view. No crease. You can just admire it. It's really, really nice. You can take a screenshot and use it as a wallpaper. In the desktop. I will. <laughs> Yep, another grey cloud above me. So I'm just running away. Because I really don't want any shower. At least not now. And here we have a tiny map of the Pasky Mountains. Yeah, right here. Here is the peak, and we are going with a red path to Pokshivna. And here is where I have parked the car. Like I said, it's getting windy. Well, luckily, I have some windproof jacket and I have a 12. 12 kilometers. So from this point it's around 5 kilometers to go. Yep, I was there. Uh, I miss my gloves. I really do. Yeah, it's getting frizzy. As far as I know, Watch out. I will show you some wind shelter. Just like I said before, Serbana Copa is a bit windy. If you finally reach this peak, you can hide here in a kind of a wind shelter. I don't even know if this works because I didn't try it. Maybe it's not a wind shelter. Maybe I've missed the point, but at least it looked like. Okay, let's go down. And here you have a magical root with a very magical stone on it. What the legend says that if you say Zazuha three times, standing in front of this stone and this root, you will be rich and happy for the rest of your life. So, Zazuha, Zazuha, Zazuha. And we will see once again uh, a wind shelter or something that looks like a wind shelter. Well, do you find it looking as a wind shelter? Let me know in comments if you think what could it be if not a wind shelter. It's uh, really pretty vertical and yeah, like I said, Srebrna Kopa is, is a really windy hill. Not sure if you hear anything apart from the wind. But let's take a look. At this panoramic view of the Polish side. 9% of the boundaries, so we will save it a bit for the end. Okay, screw the battery. I need to show you this. I think it's the best view of today's trip. 
I'm not sure if you hear me, but I hope you see this. So yeah, now let's go down there to the parking. I like it. Zomkowa góra Last half uphill Not well hidden A bit rocky Pretty, pretty vertical But you think it's almost over And you're almost done You need to do one more serious step I'm now on Shinjelova Kopa, 533 meters. And now I'm about to start a very lost downhill. Yeah, so basically this is it. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you want to see more of this kind of videos, just let me know in the comments. Oh, what a nice view at the end. Like I said, I'm right here in Pokshivna. Don't forget to subscribe. This is it for now. Thanks for watching. Take care guys. Bye bye.